Hello everyone, in this video we're looking at three new features that Google have added to Classroom which should make life easier as a teacher this year. Firstly, I'm looking at the new look layout so you'll see the tabs are now much more distinct and easier to navigate for students. Also, Classwork uh, is on its own tab and the stream will have the announcements. With the Classwork tab now, you also have the ability to share your classwork using a link with other teachers. So if you have a teacher, a department colleague, and you want to share your assignments with them, you now just send them the link and they can open the link and then integrate the assignments into their own classrooms. Prior to this, you would have had to add them as a co-teacher, so one less step there. Another very interesting feature that has been added is the class visit feature. So with class visit, you can bring up a teacher's name and you'll be able to see the classes they're teaching. Then you can select to go and visit their class. It'll allow you into the class for two hours and you state a reason, tick a reason. You can add a message if you want as well. Um, it will tell you, um, it will notify the teacher that you're going to visit their class. And where this is very useful, if you are recovering for a teacher who is absent, that you can just go in and view the classwork rather than having to have a system where you're double posting cover work. So that's the class visit feature and uh, it's done by teacher. So you type in the teacher's name and you go into their class there. Um, the final feature is very interesting is practice set. So this has been, these have been around a while, but it's worth trying them out. Uh, with the practice set, it's a way for running assessments. It's a bit more advanced in the Google form in many ways. So uh, you hit create practice set and this gives you the ability to either type the questions in or a very common use of it is to import a PDF where you might have a lot of questions there. And it's really streamlined because you can just select the questions you want to integrate and hit import and it will import them all as questions. Uh, the system can auto grade things like short answers, single select and multi select. But you also have the option of allowing text paragraph, which can be manually graded. Now, what's really good about this is in terms of the grading and analytics process, uh, when you do have a um, when you do have a practice set, you can go in and grade a particular question for all students in one go. So if you have a, you know, a question that requires um, a bit of attention, you can go down and grade that particular question for all 30 of your students. And um, you can also go in individually to each student and view their overall assignment as well. And when you're done, it'll give you this insights panel where you can see really at a glance which questions students were struggling with, uh, which students were struggling across the board. And, you know, you can see there if there's a particular question that students found difficult, maybe you need to focus on it again. So once again, some really nice features on Google Classroom for you to explore. The practice sets are here in the menu, um, as is the class visit here. And uh, the class visit I is... Um, is is very useful in terms of cover work and then the overall layout improvements which i like also so thanks for watching